So I have an idea uh, for a thing I want to build, and it's for burning these little incense uh, sticks, or these things. I want to build a better, you know, something, something to, to, to burn it in that would kind of look cool and also just be a neat project. And I was looking around the shop to see what I got to work with, and I found a bunch of these. They cut a hole, uh, and then these would all go into the scrap hopper. Uh, and I bought a bunch of them a while ago because I thought they looked cool. I'm going to get these cleaned up. They all have kind of a rough lip on the side, and I want to remove that lip and clean up here. And I'm going to need six of them to build a cube. What I'm thinking is I'll just have this little cube, um, and, and maybe have like a smokestack or something on top. Uh, it's like a little piece of pipe uh, for the smoke to come out of. And uh, you could also use that as a handle to, to lift the, the sides and the top off. Put your little incense guy, light it, put it back on, the smoke will come out of the holes and look kind of cool. So step one is uh, to get these all cleaned up. There we are, six of them, all nice and cleaned up. So I think now we'll start tack welding stuff together. Yeah, that's, that, I think that's the next step. All right, I'm just gonna use the TIG welder uh, and try to hold these at, at a 90 degrees in the corner of the workbench and uh, get them loosely tacked together. I mean, there's not really a right or wrong way. It's, it's building a little widget. So let's see how this goes. Okay. Tiny, but it's attacked. I'll uh, reinforce things later as it, it, it comes together more. Now, I wonder, let me see if I got any two inch square tubing. I could not find any two inch square tubing, but I did find one small piece of, uh, I think it's three quarters by two, so this might work. I just need something. Off of to get that 90. It'd be better if it was two inch by two inch because it would hold them flat. We'll go with what we got. Try to freehand it here. That looks about good enough. Eh, we're getting there. Look at that. Okay. Coming along. Okay. It's coming along. Now it's a little a little wonky right there, so and just try to bend bend this one out, bend this one up a little bit, and, and see if I can get that to, to kind of come in square. But it's coming along. So now uh, I think what I'm going to do next is just reinforce all the little tack welds I did uh, with some actual uh, filler filler rod because those are tiny, tiny tacks. Oh, and if you're wondering, I'm going to use uh, 308 because this is this is 308 stainless, um, and this is a uh, blue demon. Uh, is that good? I don't know. Uh, probably fine. It's what I got. Make sure you always bend the uh, important end so that you don't lose your 
information on there because during you know the little flat area there uh, it actually says what the rod is so if you're working in manufacturing it'd be very important that you are using the right rod does it matter for this no but always bend that so you don't lose that information it's a pro tip of the day tag welds on all those. Okay, I think next I'll put my little uh, chimney slash handle on top. Well, I, just, I only dipped the tungsten once, so that's not too bad. I'll let that cool off for a minute. Alright, I, I found what I'm going to do for the, the feet. Uh, so I'm going to use another two of these little pieces of tube, and I'm going to put them flat this way. And then I'll put one, you know, the bottom disc on there, and the rollers will stick out beyond the disc a bit, which will provide... Uh, the, the place for the top to actually sit on when it comes down so it doesn't overshoot everything um, because you'll have those across there. So I'm going to get those uh, tacked into place and then we'll try putting, putting the top on there and see how it looks. feet. So will this just sit on top of there nicely? Let's nope. Um hmm. well I'm not surprised because it's you know it's curved but uh yeah it wants to roll one way or the other so I'm gonna have to figure out what comes next as far as making a nice way for this to drop down on there and, and stay put. Well, I found my solution, and it was pretty straightforward. I just flattened uh, two of the areas on here and then kind of squished them in a little bit so it actually lands on top of the, the base there, and since they're flat, it doesn't roll around. So that was a, a pretty easy fix there. So you put it right on there, and there it is. And it would work in either direction, and it just sits on there. I think it's time to try it out, put one of the little incense guys in there, and uh, see the, the smoke come out from everywhere. I think that's pretty much what I wanted. Just kind of a an interesting looking spot to put the the incense. I I, I like that it actually comes out of there, um, out of the chimney. I wasn't sure if it would come out from every which what way, but I like that it's actually coming out of the chimney like that. That that's neat. I like that.